You know what happens to brothers or sisters in this church that suddenly they, they're going along great, they're looking to Christ, and they fall into sin, just like the guy Spencer talked about, and suddenly they lost their peace, they lost their joy. Guess what people that lose their peace and lose their joy typically go do? They typically go curl up in a ball in the corner of their bedroom. Maybe not literally, but that's what happens. They become ineffective, they become unfruitful, why? Because they're, they're led to believe a lie. Now they believe that some offering has to be made or some length of time has to go by. Something has to happen to get them back into the favors of God that they had before they fell into that sin. Brethren, it is so freeing, it is so liberating to just go out and do good works in this world. Yeah, when you have a bad day, confess it. I mean, take it to the Lord. But you can run right into His presence. He's not going to smite you with lightning. Run right into His presence. Boldly approach the throne of grace. It's the grace just pours out of this thing. Why? From one offering. Grace is unleashed. That, that blood just speaks all the time. Remember, He's there at the right hand of God on your behalf. That means your behalf all the time. If, as a believer, don't stay away. Flee into His presence. You see, the most crippling thing in the Christian life is to not go to Christ. It's to not seek His help. It's to not abide in Him. It's to think I can't go to Him. The devil will be right there. After what you just did, you think you're going to just walk into His presence? You, you better go with some sort of penance before you think you're going to walk in there. You better... Try to live right for the next day before you walk in there. That's, that's the kind of stuff he says. You think Christ wants anything to do with you after what you did? But you see, there's no, there's no greater argument there than the cross. It perfects for all time those who are being sanctified. It's done. It's a package deal. You trust Him for having forgiven your sin before you were a Christian. If you'll, just, if you'll just grasp the reality that the sin you commit tomorrow as a Christian is in the same package, it's not separate. It's not another deal. God doesn't look at it different. It's all together. And back when Christ died on that cross, He didn't delineate between today and tomorrow. It was all together. Just as it was with David and Samuel and Moses and Abraham, all of it. Whoosh, the merit that put away their sin, it was all done in a moment. And so it is for you. If you will rest in that truth, it will take your joy and your peace, your freedom in the Christian life higher. And I'll tell you this, if you're not being sanctified, if you don't see that purifying, holifying work going on in your life, don't presume to think that you've been perfected. And listen, it is appointed unto all men once to die. And your day is coming. And you don't want to play with this. There's only one way for all your sins to be put away. And it better be put away. Because if you show up there on judgment day, after your appointed time of death, it's appointed for you to face the judgment. And if you know nothing about this sacrifice taking your sin away you having looked to him in faith and having had it taken away you're in deep eternal trouble you will lose your soul you will lose your all you will face torment and righteously so your sin is that bad the glory of god you've trampled on in your sin is that great god is serious sin is bad it is wicked and it will damn you forever God owed you nothing but destruction. And look what He did. This one, this singular, this supreme sacrifice, superior to all others in sending His own Son, the God-man, to shed His blood, lay down His life. He took on a body. He came from heaven. He laid aside His glory. And he faced the wrath of God. And he did it once. And he sat down. Brethren, he said it's finished. And he took a seat. 
You can trust your life, your soul, your all there. Run to Him at once.